What's up, my mathletes? That's right, Mr. Muscarella coming at you. And in this video, we're gonna have another example of solving a right triangle here for our geometry kiddos. So first thing you wanna do is remember, when you're solving a right triangle, you wanna find all the angles and all the sides. And you'll be given some of that info, but you gotta find everything. So when I take a look at this second example here, I'm like, all right, cool. We gotta solve the right triangle and give two side lengths. All right, let's check this out. So we got this side length over here of three, the WX side and the XY side is eight. So we got round everything in the nearest tenth. So when I take a look at these two values, there's a lot of different ways that you can work with this. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick an angle to solve. So that's the first thing. So I want you to write this down. One, pick an angle, right? That's the first thing we're gonna do. And I am gonna go after angle four Y. So angle Y right here in this in this little spot over there. So wherever angle Y is, that's what I want to look at. Now, based on where angle Y is, now I'm going to label everything, right? So that's my opposite side right there, and that's my adjacent side. So opposite and adjacent, well, what trig function deals with opposite and adjacent? So let's kind of think about that. So sine is opposite and hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent and hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite and adjacent. Booyah, there we go. The one that's tangent is going to help us with our opposite and adjacent. So I don't know what angle Y is yet. However, I can figure it out using my powers of mathematics, right? Using Sokato, the trig function, tangent. So tangent of this angle Y, of angle Y, that's going to be equal to this ratio of 3 over 8, because 3 is the opposite side and 8 is the adjacent side. Now, once I get this stuff, I'm trying to find an angle measurement, right? So that means this angle Y, so the measure of angle Y is going to be, remember, when you say this, you say it arctangent. So it's going to be the arctangent of 3 over 8. When I do this, now I'm going to use my graphing calculator or Desmos or whatever you want. But no matter what tool you use, bro, you better make sure that you are in the right mode. And that mode, of course, is degree, which you can see is highlighted here, so you're good on that. Now, arctangent, if I look at the main menu, I only see sine, cos, and tan down up in there, but I need to see arctangent. So I'm gonna go to the FUNC, I'm gonna go there, and then that is when I will have the arctangent. So you just hit that, and then you do three divided by eight, and it gives you 20.55. So if I need to round that to the tenth place, all right, that of course would be 20.6. So 20.6 degrees, that's how much angle Y is. All right, so cool, I just figured you out angle Y, that's good. Now that I know how much you are, then the other angle, angle W, so now I can go after angle W. So angle W, that measure, is going to be, because all three angles, how many degrees are all three angles in a triangle? That's right, bro, 180. You better know, that's one fact. You better leave geometry class with it. So we know 180 degrees there. We've got the 90 degree right angle that they tell us about, and then this 20.6 that we just found. So again, you do the arithmetic on there, and you'll figure out that the measure of angle W is going to be 69.4. So... That is the value of angle W and angle Y. So those are the two angles. So now I got all three angles. I'm cool with that. Now, for the sides, like, I don't know what WY is, right? So we got to figure out what, how long WY is. Well, if I know two sides of a right triangle, you know, so I don't need this opposite and adjacent part anymore, but if I know two sides, bro, all we got to do to figure out WY, that's right. You know he stole that from the Chinese, but we're going to use Pythagoras. That's right, Pythagorean theorem is what we're going to use. So that third step is going to be Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. So step three, and I'm going to abbreviate Pythagorean theorem PT. So I'm going to say use Pythagorean theorem to find WY. So WY. Now when I we go to do that, now the WY part, this is where you got to be careful because I've seen a lot of students get that wrong. If I look at a squared plus B squared plus C squared. The A and the B don't really matter, but the C always does. And that has to be across from the hypotenuse. So this WI part, that would be the hypotenuse or C. So when you do that, be really careful to make sure that you label that correctly. So I have 3 squared plus 8 squared equals C squared. Now, I don't know what the C is yet. Now, 3 squared is 9. 8 squared is 64. And that's C. When you add those two up, you will get 73 for the value of C squared. 
Then, again, be really careful when you write this, you know. When people do this, I see this all the time. Because they're like, oh, man. Because when you move on to Algebra 2, you're going to have to put a plus or minus around that C squared or in front of that. But make sure you put the square root around both sides. Because if you only put it around the wrong one side, I know I'm going to dock you a point on that because that is an incorrect statement. That's what we call a linkage error. Because the square root of 73 is not C squared, but the square root of 73 is going to be the square root of C squared. Now, again, you go to your calculator, right? Let's, let's get all up in there and just see where that is. So we'll clear all that out, and then we have to go back to the main one and do square root of 73. And that gives us a nice little value of 8.54, which we can see when we round that is going to be about 8.5. So C, so 8.5 is about what C is. So that means WI is going to be about 8.3 or 8.5. So that's it. So we've got all three sides, all three angles. Booyah, we done with that. Now we got a little bit of practice to do down in here. So make sure you... Go ahead and do the practice on there. Check your answers because they are located in Schoology for our students. So be sure you check that and make sure that you understand all these problems. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make it a great day as always, and I'll catch up with you soon. Peace out.